Street Dwellers was not merely a Street Dwellers for, uh, before. It was merely but a coffee ministry. The project started by Pastor Alfredo Olavides, June Del Coro, Efren Tan, Steve Serna, and Nani Magsanok. So, ang ginagawa lang doon, nagpapakain sa mga taong dumadaan, papuntang Q-Mart. Pagdaan nila, they're being offered with coffee. But basically, maraming dumada mga street children. So, the street children receive all this, I should say food, at dahil doon, dumami ng dumami ang dumadaan hanggang sa nabuo yung concept of putting up an organization. And the name was Street Dwellers Outreach Ministries. It was only 2003 when it was registered sa SEC. Pastor Alfredo Olavides became the executive director. They hired Jojo Tejano and Helen Tejano to help out. Jojo became a program manager but at the same time, sila rin yung caretaker ng center. Nung nagsart ang street dwellers, it was just merely a haven for street children to go there, play, rest, meron silang library, few books. So free parang a daycare center for street children. On 2005, nagkaroon sila ng connection with Kinder Not Hilfe. Ang focus was really on street children. So, Kuya Ido decided to put up playgrounds, play materials, and nagkaroon din ng school. So, ang mga bata from the streets, imbes na sa kalsada lang magsistay, they prefer to go to the center to be fed, sleep, play, and learn. 2006 when I came in, we started with school and the cart. Ito po yung concept whereby we bring education to street children sa place nila. My day starts 4 o'clock in the morning kasi I used to go to the market and buy food for them, then prepare the food at 5 o'clock till 6 o'clock. Then at, at 7 we have to go we need to visit four areas in a day, two in the morning and two in the afternoon. So we carry food, we carry water, we carry everything that we can bring to these kids. The parents do not have time to bring their children to our center. They would like to have enough uh, time to work, to scavenge, in order for them to earn a living. So when they couldn't bring the children to our center, we brought this school to them. Seven, the concept of building up a communal shelter for street people came up. It was being supported by Kinder Not Hilfe. So we decided to put up our communal shelter in Illinois, also in Cuba. Now we have about 50, 20 families in it, and majority of it were street families. Sa center po namin, we have livelihood prepared for the family, especially yung mga tatay or the fathers. So we decided to put up skills training for them. Meron kaming welding. We also have our car wash. Meron din kaming tindahan for the mothers or stores for the mother. We also have our canteen. And we also have our fishbowl bending. Those were livelihoods for the fathers. 
we have our scholarship for these kids. So after graduating from our school, from our prep school, we sent them to formal school. We already have about 10 kids who are now grade 1s, grade 2s, and grade 3s. We actually pay for their tuition fees. We gave out school supplies. We have students in Kuba Elementary School, about 5 of them, and Yulohio. We, also, we have about 7 of them. We've also been supporting community school, community kids. When you say community, these are kids from our nearby squatter area. We have about 200 of them. We give out school supplies from elementary to high school. But basically for college, it's too difficult for us to support them because we usually pay per semester. We still continue with our street education, basically. It is but our hope to continue up until the time there won't be any street people in Kuwao. But we also support uh, our students in elementary, especially street kids who were able to pass from our school to a big school. But we're still praying for more provisions that we will be able to, by next year, we'll be able to provide them what they need. Ang nadulot naman ng center dito, ano, nakakabuti sa mga bata kasi kaysa maglaro sila dyan ang maglaro, magdudungis lang sila dito kahit may natututunan sila. Nakakain pa sila ng feeding, gano'n. Sa uh, pamumuhay naman namin, malaki ang pinagbago mula ng napunta kami dito sa Takate Lote. Buhat mula sa bangketa kasi nung nasa bangketa kami talagang walang Ano eh, wala bang katahimikan yung lalo sa gabi, natatakot kami. Pero dito nakakatulog kami ng maayos kasi meron talaga kami bahay na tinutulogan. Safe, na safe ang mga anak ko, matutulogan, maayos ang pagkatulog, malinis ang mga anak ko at walang problema. Saka natukasalamat rin ako sa tao na tumutulong sa amin, talong lalo na sa Panginoon. Kaya ako nabunta dito. Oo, sana magbabang buhay. Tapos ang mga anak ko, sana mabalakay na maayos, matuto. Sana yung anak ko, maging maganda ang buhay. Ito na lang ang pag-asa ko. Nakapasalamat din ako na yung asawa ko, hindi na nagsasyabo, hindi na gano'ng ilo, 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 hindi na Pangarap lang namin na nakapag-aral ang mga anak namin, tapos maka- Pakaon kami sa hirap 